the Amador County Fair starts tomorrow. Yeah, a student is trying to change some cultural disparities on display over there. And Marcus Allen joins us live from the fairgrounds and what we'd like to call a very active scene in Plymouth. Mark? Active scene indeed. The fair opens tomorrow. These are the future farmers of America getting ready. I don't know, like, look, I, I don't even know what's going on here, but this kid has not stopped moving the moment we got here. He's been going crazy. I've been apologizing to everybody for having to get up so early to be on ABC 10 mor uh, Morning News. And they said, no, we're up all the time. Hey, what's your name? Hi, nice to meet you, Amy. Amy, one of the future farmers of America, but it's this guy that's changing the game. Take a look. This is Keyshawn Manji, an award-winning member of the Future Farmers of America at Ione's Argonaut High School. Getting ready for the Amador County Fair. He's won for his lamb entry three years running. Keyshawn's father is black, his mother is Native American, a bloodline descendant of the Ione Band of Miwok Indians, who lives on the family farm that began in 1862. For her, it was important that he represent all sides of his culture. I brought him home to be a part of the tribe. I was taught it was very important to be a part of that. Keyshawn said the move to the farm at first was a big adjustment. It was a big shock. It changed a lot. And then I started doing the land project from there. Very first year coming down here, and I've been doing it since. You know, in a perfect world, we have diversity in all industries, including agriculture. Did you find that there aren't a lot of people that look like you doing what you're doing? I did find that. I did see that when I first moved down here. And then as it went on, I learned more and more about people who were already down here. I do have quite a few cousins who actually show. I have a, my, one of my own cousins here who has this project here with me. And it may, and it is very diverse as, you know, opposed to how it may seem. But there's always, of course, room for improvement. There's always more diversity that could be going around. And for young people of all walks of life, you would say, do this because... It builds a great work ethic, really, because you think about it, you're creating yourself a pattern all through summer, which is a time where a lot of kids think, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stay inside, play video games, go hang out with my friends. No, you got responsibilities to be taken care of. And it just helps you build character and a good work ethic for your future life. That guy is awesome. Love hanging out with him down here. And just the fact that he's, you know, bringing so many cultures together and being the face on it. Think about those who come after. We'll see that, see that representation and uh, just inspire a lot of people. Rich Hoffman is the general manager of the Amador County Fair. Uh, you started out in FFA. Does it seem like yesterday you were his age? It does, yeah. And I had steers here and, and hogs and, yeah, come full circle. So it's a great feeling to see these kids here. You, you were yeah. watching that segment that we just aired and uh, you all almost teared up. I could tell that it you know, moved we're super, you. super proud and you know we're super proud and it's part of our role here to promote agriculture and let people know where their food comes from and these kids have a great work ethic. So, awesome yeah. and I know you're also the PT Barnum of this thing so as we go out come to the Amador County Fair because because we are doing a $50,000 boot toss just buy your tickets online before the fair and toss a boot into a barrel for 50,000 bucks. All right showman pleasure knowing you pleasure knowing you back to you you are exactly right. If there's anything you could say about Rich Hoffman, P.T. Barnum definitely fits. He's, he's had a whole career of being a P.T. Barnum of Amador County. Thank you, Rich. Always good to see you.